Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video by yours truly, the Poker Technician. Today we are going to be playing our DLC Season 3 Week 3 Battle against uh, Matthew aka Young Kuma here. Uh, his team is super scary, it's featuring things like Volcarona, Zygarde 10%, Bocephalon, Jirachi. Um, he's got a couple dragons, he's got Altaria, Dredagon as well. Um, as well as Dragalge, so quite a few dragons. Um, I'm gonna just hop into the battle as this is kind of a little bit rushed for me. I've been competing in a lot of stuff this week and Christmas has been going on and everything, so... I uh, didn't get as much prep as I'd like to, but I still got a decent amount. So here I am going to send out the challenge to him. Make sure everything is recording. Looks good to me, guys. Should be an exciting battle here. Um, so basically, uh, his Blacephalon outspeeds everything on my team, especially since I dropped Starmie this week in favor of Seismitoad, and also Porygon 2 in favor of the Miltank. So we are going to see a lot of things we feared. I am happy not to see the Zygarde here, for sure. Alright. Terrakion is a bit scary too, we do have to be aware of that. Um, I can lead the Rotom. I'm anticipating him to lead Jirachi or maybe the, um, the Sableye. So, alternatively, the Seismitoad could come out, but if Sableye leads, that's kind of annoying. Um, yeah, let's lead with the Rotom. Does lead with the Sableye. Sweet. Okay, so here... I think we can freely click the Volt Switch, as he didn't bring a ground type. The question is, what do I want to bring in on this? I suppose it would have to be Vaporeon. Oh, what are my alternatives? I could burn it. That might be nice. It could start calm mining up and doing shenanigans like that. I'm gonna go for the Volt Switch here. Goes for the Taunt, okay. So we do make the right play there. Here I'm tempted to bring in the Spiritomb. I do enjoy uh, keeping my choice band, so hopefully... I don't really wanna get anything knocked off is the issue here. Stealth Rocks could be really nice. Although, I mean, he could bring Heavy Duty Boots on both his Blacephalon and his Wolferona. I'm going to let him uh, know good luck, have fun here as well. <laughs> um, he can whisk me if I... No, he can't whisk me if I go into Spirit Tomb. Okay, I'm going to go into Spirit Tomb. So this Spirit Tomb is super vital for my victory. I think here I can click the Poltergeist pretty freely. Switches out into the Silvali Fairy. And we do massive damage to that. Okay, good deal. Here I think I will bring in my Mill Tank. Try and take this opportunity to maybe get rocks up. So he goes for the multi attack, but this is pretty heavy damage. Should be pretty invested, it looks like. Here, I'm tempted to go for the Rock Slide. Uh, let's see, he could go into his Terrac. Maybe just the EQ is the play here. I do want to get my Rocks up though. I might not outspeed him. I might outspeed him, but I might not. Let's see. Let's go with the Stealth Rocks. Hopefully he decides to parting shot or something along those lines. I am terrified of the Volcarona setting up. Here comes the Terrakion, okay. Terrak comes out. And he should be going for a fighting type move, you would have to imagine. And what wants to come in and take this on? I can bring in my Garchomp here. He didn't bring any of his flying types either, that's interesting. He knows I have two electric types, obviously, on my roster with Zapdos and Rotom Heat. Okay, so here... 
I can't imagine him not going for a CC or something like that. I can't outspeed him with Garchomp though. Hmm. Really need the Vaporeon. Of course I really need everything. Let's go. I want to stay in an Earthquake, but I know it won't do very much. Garchomp is absolutely essential for this game, though, as well as Spiritomb. God, Vaporeon's so good, too. I think if we did sack anything, it would probably be the Rotom. So here I'm going to go into the Rotom. This goes for the Swords Dance. I have to Wisp, hoping that he misses his Stone Edge. Or, I mean, he goes for Rock Blast. Okay. Interesting. So this is scary for sure. I have the choice Scarf Seismitoad here though. He has nothing that's levitating, so I can click the EQ here. Should be able to revenge that. Takes him down to Sash. Okay. So now Spiritomb can Shadow Sneak. This is not going the way I wanted it to. But it's not over yet. I've got my rocks up. Oof, this is scary. Okay. So here we go out into Spirit Tomb. We click the Shadow Sneak to pick it off. He's gonna go into his um, Volcarona here, I think. Goes out into the Silvalli, okay. Interesting play. So here, I think what we can do is go out into Vape. As he goes for the multi-attack, yep, that does decent damage. Um, and here we have to toss a Wish. Okay, out comes the Sableye again. Is he gonna go for the Taunt? Probably. I've gotta go for the Scald here. Okay, cool. So we are able to get get, uh, get a nice Scald off there. Does some pretty decent damage. I'm assuming he probably has the Recover. Hmm. Wanting to stay in and Scald here. As he will probably go for the Taunt. Okay, I'm gonna go for the Scald. All right, so here. I think we just click Scald again. We can Scald, spam out his Recovers. Goes for the Taunt, Taunts me, okay. Yep, that was the right play on his end. Okay, so we're back to 4-4 here. Well, Cephalon comes out. There's no way this thing Oko's me. I don't believe. I'm gonna Scald it, okay. He tries to bait me, brings in the Jirachi. I go for the Scald, burn, burn, no burn, okay. So, my guard chomp is expertly EV to outspeed this thing, but the question is, is it scarfed? I'm gonna go for a Scald. We see that his Blacephalon is not heavy duty boots. Goes for the play rough, okay. We go for the Scald, get the burn, come on. No burn, all right. Taunt ended. Here we can um, go for the Wish. As one has to imagine, what's he gonna go? Oh, he stays in, okay. Play rough, doing 29-ish. Drops my attack. Here. I'm feeling that he's locked into this as it does cover my remaining Garchomp and Spiritomb here. His play rough did 32% at one point. I have to go for the heal bell here. He misses his play rough. That's absolutely huge for me. Cool. So now I can wish up again. Oh, that was critical. I don't know that he could have taken me out with a high roll. The highest roll he's rolled on me is a 32% or so. So here... I think we could take this opportunity to get our mill tank healed up a little bit. 
Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do here. As he goes for rock slide, all right. And now we can proceed to click the earthquake. Goes for the multi-attack, we take him out with the EQ. Out comes the Volcarona on the balloon. I think we can take any attack from this. Just have to land a rock slide. Goes for the quiver. We land a rock slide and Milk Tank tanks out Volcarona. This game is looking pretty good in our favor right now. Um, here we can just click the Earthquake. It goes for the overheat and that takes out Blissef. Out comes Jirachi. I go for the EQ. And that is a late game Milk Tank sweep, ladies and gentlemen. And that will be uh, a 3-0 so far on this season. I'm gonna toss him a GG, good game to you, man. Uh, he's a really good player, honestly, guys. So I was, my heart was pounding for this match. I'm really glad that we were able to pull out the victory, especially in a fairly convincing 4-0 fashion. So good game to you, Matt. And uh, we'll see you guys next week with uh, week four of the DLC. This is Steven, coach of the Seattle Marines, AKA Poketechnician, signing out. Peace.